Okay, so I was looking through on Facebook and uh, I found that there's a new Raspberry Pi imager. Uh, so if you're used to using Belena Etcher, this is just another way of doing it. Uh, and it says here, Raspberry Pi imager for Windows, Mac or Ubuntu. And I'll put a link in the description, but it's just on the main site in the downloads folder. So I've already downloaded the imager for Mac OS and I've already installed it. So let's just click on it. And there's two ways you can do it. You can choose an OS and basically uh, click on one of these and it will download and it will write it straight to the card. Or you can go to use a custom image, which is like you would do with Belena Etcher. Uh, and then you just click on it and open. And then you've got to choose your card. So I'll choose a card. And I haven't got a card plugged in at the moment. So let's put a card in. Uh, which one did I have to use? Samsung 32.1. So let's pop that one in. This has already got an image written on it, but it doesn't matter because I've tested this already. Uh, so pop your card in and you'll see after a few seconds it will show up. There you go. So you would click on your card and then you would hit right. So I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to basically do a side by side comparison, just do a speed test uh, between the two, Belena Etcher and Raspberry Pi Imager. So, uh, and I think I'll use, yeah, I'll use this image, but I'll do it from the start. So from clicking on the Raspberry, and you'll see these two side by side. Choose OS, uh, use custom. It's already on download, so lineage and open. Choose the SD card. Hit right. So let's see which one's fastest. And I was looking through on the Facebook forums and uh, someone had asked the question, why would you use this instead of Belena Etcher when Belena Etcher works perfectly well? And I've used Belena Etcher pretty much all the way through. Uh, the answer was, someone had answered, and I won't give any names because uh, you're not supposed to on the Facebook forum, but uh, they basically said that it looked like Belena Etcher was going to go paid for or uh, be heavily covered by advertising. So time will tell if that happens or not, but it's nice to have two options for the same thing. And also lots of things are happening at the moment. So at the moment on raspberrypi.org, there is an SD card speed tester. Um, and so basically you can see how well your card performs and if it hits a certain criteria. Uh, what interested me about the uh, article is that the A on SD card stands for application. Uh, and this is more to do with reading and writing for an operating system. Uh, and I thought that was interesting to look out for. I don't know if any of my cards have got A's on. Oh yes, yeah, so I've got A1 on the SanDisk, a couple of SanDisk cards there, but I don't think I have on anything else. No, none of the others seem to have that. So in theory, these should be better. And this one, I've got uh, my 128 gig RetroPie build on there, and that works very well. Mind, mind you, not that that works like an operating system, really. Okay, so at this point, close your ears if you don't want any spoilers. The Belena Etcher test took significantly less time. It was 8 minutes and 42 seconds, and Pi Imager took 3 minutes and 4 longer, uh, so much longer, really. Um, one thing to note, uh, I am using a very old MacBook from 2010. Uh, I'm using a Samsung micro SD card, which should be quite a fast SD card, but my uh, drive is a, it's only a USB 2 uh, slot on the MacBook. So if you've got a much faster computer, then this time will be significantly reduced. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. Thanks very much for watching. I'll let it play out, uh, but please like and subscribe.